The variety of problems that paediatric osteopaths can treat is extraordinary, as well as the more common childhood ailments here at the Osteopathic Centre for Children, their work has also proved to be effective with more serious conditions like autism, epilepsy and cerebral palsy. The treatment for these children aims to support their recovery by alleviating their symptoms and making them easier to manage. We here we certainly have a number of severe conditions. We see children with epilepsy, quite chronic severe epilepsy and also the milder forms. We see children with cerebral palsy, children who have Down syndrome and other sort of genetic conditions where they don't even have a name. And treatment's not going to cure the condition but what we do hope to do is to help that child function as best they possibly can within the problems that they have. This is eight-month-old Kai, who's been diagnosed with cerebral palsy. His mother, Amy, brought him to the OCC to see if they could help him with the loss of movement in his right arm. He was also very distressed and having problems sleeping. Amy's already noticed an enormous difference in Kai's condition since he's been to the centre. When he was a baby, he never used to move his arm, his right arm at all today. And now he's just, he's starting to use it and play with things, trying to hold his bottle. He's really trying to move it. It was just like stiff before and he held it back. His right arm is starting to use a lot more since he's been coming here, that is. And he's been kicking his legs a lot more. When you see a child with cerebral palsy, the cerebral palsy may be affecting different areas. So it may be as mild as just one tight arm, or it may leave them very um, chronically affected and very severely affected. And again, there, we're just looking to give them the best quality of life that they can have and to get their function as good as it can be for them and their health as good as it can be for them. Paediatric osteopathy is a very gentle manual technique that works to make sure the body's framework is in alignment, allowing a good blood and nerve supply to internal organs, and relieving any tension in the muscle and bones that could be restricting movement. This is particularly important where there's a physical disability such as Kai's cerebral palsy. Four-year-old Joe also has this condition as well as severe epilepsy, sometimes suffering from over 100 fits a day. Since being treated at the OCC, Joe's seizures have been dramatically reduced. He's just generally a happier, much more contented child. He's beginning to learn more as well. Um, there's nothing you can really put your finger on. It's just that everything has come together. With epilepsy, most of our children that we see will be on medication. And that affects the brain as it's supposed to, but it can also affect how the brain develops on a very subtle level. So again, what we're trying to do with those children is to really encourage their um, systems to work within the medication and sometimes having a fit can be quite a shock to the system. We talk about things in terms of feelings and qualities, a bit like a wine master might talk about different tastes of wine. And they might say wine's chocolatey or peppery, but well, we talk about tissues being dense or hard or shocked or irritable. And some people who've recently had a, an epileptic fit, the tissues, the, the coverings of the brain, the meninges can feel very, very irritable. Lucas is three and a half years old. He was born at just 30 weeks and has mild cerebral palsy as a result of a brain hemorrhage at birth. He also has to live with a cyst on the left side of his brain and needs help to keep his movements coordinated. The cyst is affecting his right side of the body and mostly the legs. So it affects his balance mainly and uh, we do physiotherapy with him but I found this treatment to be the best treatment out of all, out of the lot basically.